Alright, YouTube, uh, I know I haven't posted a video and tutorial, so I'm gonna make this like. So, if you see my windmill tutorials, I'm gonna put in a last part and like what you need for getting windmills, but this is supposed to how you get windmills from a standing position. <clears throat> from my previous tutorials, I taught you how to do it from a stab on the ground position, but in a battle or like doing sets, sometimes you wanna transition to power moves up top. Alright? So by the way this is B Boy Chu. I'll get you going. What's it? <clears throat> okay, first off, that just I'll just show you how it's supposed to look like and I'll get it from there. Alright, so that's how well, that's how windmill from a standing position is supposed to look like. Alright, so let's break it down step by step. step, by step. Alright, when you start off, you want to have shoulder width apart, legs spread, just alright. And then I go clockwise, by the way, because that's how. I roll, all my power moves roll. But, anyways, just reverse it if you're counterclockwise and follow what I do if you're clockwise. Alright, so once you have your legs spread out, you want to place your left, left hand somewhere close to your right foot. So it's kind of like an opposite right here. And right when you do that, you want to bring your right foot up. But not too far up, like a 1990 or air flare. You just want to bring it up just like halfway, like that, halfway. In the 1990s, you bring it all the way up. You don't want to bring that all the way up, or else your windmill is going to be too high. Um, from there, so basically, when you go from your top rock, you just want to left hand, right leg, up, halfway. Okay? This will cause you to make your body spin, go this way, clockwise. So it'd be for now, okay? Right when you pull your right leg off the ground, you wanna hop with your left left, left leg. So it should look like, okay? Let's do a, here. If you have a problem, here's a drill for you, okay? So the drill is basically. But remember, don't bring your legs too high for like 1990s and air flares. Always want to keep it medium side. Right? But this is a slight change to it. Right when you get up here, you want to curl your legs up for winding. Like in a windmill, how you're supposed to wind up like this and kick. That's basically what you want to do, but more power because you're standing up. So right from here, right? up, wind, leg, left leg pops, and then your right hand, you place it on the ground, but instead you want to put elbow. It's going to be like, elbow, right here. So you should be elevated. So this position should look like this. See, I'm already ready for a kick. All this space I'm open for. And then go from there from windmill. So, review. This is relatively simple. You should learn it in about two weeks, one week or so. Right? Legs part. Left hand. Right hop. Wind. Kick, hop. Left. And then elbow down. Swing. And then roll onto your back. Remember, if you roll, remember to roll on your back. 
don't jump on it unless you're doing halos or but for now we're just sticking with windmills so for the beginners you want to learn it with the elbow but for the advanced people there's something they call a coin drop where you just one hand and it drop in but I'll make that a second part of my tutorial All right half speed Full speed. Okay? Now, once you have this elbow down, you want to get rid of it now. Once you master the elbow drop from the same position, you're ready for coin drop. Basically, coin drop is you're not using, you're just using your right shoulder just to roll. Like when you collapse, you use your right shoulder to roll. This is basically how a coin drop looks like. Right shoulder. When I, when I taught you, it was elbow. So it could just get more area. So this is how it's supposed to look like. Full speed. Okay? Sorry about that. But basically to do a coin drop, you should be able to know how to enter, enter it like this, right? Okay? From your entry point, you want to lean your weight to your right shoulder if you're going clockwise. So it should look something like this. Your, your, shoulder should, your right shoulder should hit the ground first. Okay? Remember, this is everything the same except for the elbow. Everything the same. Left hand, up, up, shoulder. So, final review of elbow and then coin drop. All right, All right, All right, here, and this way, rolling back. Coin drop. Here, here, here. So, Give a final this demonstration so you can get a better idea. Anyways, practice, give me some feedback, any tutorials you want to know, if I can do it. Um, that's it, keep practicing, thanks for watching.